Good evening from Icon Orlando. We're here today for a special sneak preview of Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. I'm so excited. Right? I love fish. I, they have <laughs> chicken on the menu, so I'm good to go. I'm excited to see, yeah, what do they have for people who maybe don't love fish so much. Right. But I'm also very excited to try the fish and chips. I think I'm going to try the fish too because it's like, it's fish and chips. Well, and it's Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. You right? have to try it. Right. Right. So we are here in Icon Park. We're surrounded by so many things to do. So this is pretty awesome. You can do some fun stuff, yeah. have something to eat. Yeah. I'm going to kind of show you guys where this is at because it's a brand new restaurant and we didn't know where it was at first and then we found it. So I'll show you where it's at. All right, right now I'm looking at the parking garage and it is free to park here. And we're looking at Sugar Factory and then to our right is Madame Tussauds. And of course, the Icon wheel is straight there ahead of us. So this is the wheelhouse for getting your tickets and stuff like that, going into Sea Life, going to Madame Tussauds and getting on the wheel. And we are going to turn in this direction to the right. Sugar Factory is still on our right over here. And we're walking through Icon Park right now. So we're coming up on Tin Roof and just across from this entrance to Tin Roof is Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. And I like that it is decorated with the Union Jack colors. So we got red, white, and blue. And the entrance is the iconic red phone booth that you would see in England. Here's a look at the inside of the restaurant, looking straight back at the kitchen. And we'll have a quick look at the menu over here. We've got combos, two sauces, a drink, and then for plus $3, you can get dirty chips, plus $2 for kids' dirty chips, plus $6 for a shake, or plus $1 for a lemonade. You can get either fish, shrimp, lobster and shrimp, chicken, or a fish switch. And they have all of the different sauces listed. Gordon's tartar, curry and mango, sriracha aioli, Southwest ranch, Dijon mayonnaise, and cocktail. It's a fairly simple menu, but I think it'll be very delicious. I like that there's not a lot of choices, but I think it'll be good. I'm excited to try a couple of these shakes. Oh, and you can get some beer too. So the way that it works here is you order your food inside. They call your number, you go back inside, you pick it up, and then you come out here to the patio and you sit and you eat. They got plenty of shade, umbrellas, uh, lots and lots of seating. There's like bar seating everywhere. Here's an overview of the food that we got here at Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. So we've got, of course, fish and chips. This is a cod fish. It looks like it's got some ketchup and a tartar sauce. And then this is shrimp and lobster. Ooh, with chips underneath it. And these are the, what they call a fish witch, which looks like the, the fried fish inside of almost like a little pita. And then this is a chicken, like a fried chicken for me. And then we got a fried chicken for Jackson too. This is the kids fried chicken. And there's a whole bunch of sauces. And then these are the dirty fries. Got some live music going on over here. This guy's playing chicken fried. And then we're just looking out. This is a nice outdoor seating area they've got over here. Jen's dancing over there with Jackson. It's such a nice outdoor seating area with a view of a fountain. It's got a view of the icon over here. It's nice. You ready to eat some food? We're just, we're just dancing. Oh we're, yeah. We're vibing. It's vibing. So this is the dirty number one jalapeno chorizo cojita cheese red onion chives and parsley. And these are the dirty chips number two truffle parmesan cheese chives and parsley. And each of these are $6.99 a piece. And right now, Jackson is going down on some chicken. What do you think so far, buddy? You got a french fry attached to your chicken? You just want the french fry? You, you already ate half of this chicken, though. You did good. What do you think of it? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Other thumb. Yeah, good job, buddy. <laughs> all right, so I got the name of all the sauces. This is Gordon's Tartar. And then this is the cocktail sauce. Then we've got the Sriracha, then the Southwest Ranch, and then this is the Dijon Mayonnaise. This is really, really good on the fries. The Dijon Mayonnaise? Yeah, I love it. And then this yellow one, that is the Curry and Mango. Ooh. And so with it. the fries, you get two dipping sauces, and it looks like with each meal, you get two dipping sauces. I love the options. So many options. I'm gonna try the thing I was most excited to try. I, I of course wanna try the fish and the chips, but they have a lobster dish. I lobster try and that. shrimp. Oh, it's lobster and shrimp? Okay. Yeah. Surprise! 
lobster. There's lobster and shrimp. All right, so get a good look at that. I like how the like the the shells of the lobster are like peeled back. It's yeah. cool looking. Okay, so how did, do you just pick it up and eat it? I think so. That's how you eat fish and chips, right? I know it's not fish. No, but... I think you don't eat fish and chips with your hands. Why not? I don't know. So there's a look at the lobster. Oh, it looks so nice. What do you what do you get lobster in? Whatever you want. Okay. I don't think you need to dip it in anything. Okay. It tastes very buttery on its own. Nice. Wow, that's good. You should try that. It's not very fishy. All right. So I think you might like it. Maybe. And the batter is like airy and crunchy, like super crunchy at the same time. Did you get that? I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. Jackson's giving the lobster a try right now. What do you think, buddy? Are you a lobster fan? Jackson, Yay! are you clapping? Nice Say, work. Good job. Do Jackson, you will you give it? me a thumbs up if you like the lobster? Do you like the lobster? Thumbs up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right. Now we know. I love it. He's our little food critic. Right? Do he you just like goes, the lobster? Yeah. I mean, it's honestly, it's delicious. Yeah, it looks real nice. I thought, okay, so fried lobster, I would think that it might have the chance to be overcooked. Um, this tastes delicious. Like, it's not chewy or, like, rubbery at all. Okay. It's really nice. All right, I'm going to try some of these loaded fries, or so dirty fries. These are dirty number one. It's got chorizo and cotija. That's delicious. It, it looks really good. Yeah. Is it spicy? No. Are you, do you love, do you love him singing Olivia Rodrigo? So this is great. It has like a Southwestern feel to it, but it's not spicy. It has like a lot of flavor. It has a pop of flavor from the treat. So, um, I wish there was more cheese on it, Okay. but it is very delicious. I haven't gotten any of the, like the onions or anything because there's onions down there. There's jalapenos, but I haven't gotten anything spicy yet. There's jalapeno in it? Yeah. Let me look. Right there, this is like a like a sliver of jalapeno. Oh, wow. Guest 140. So I have to say, this outdoor seating area is great. And there's a lot of like, just free entertainment happening all around. Right. So you can sit out here, eat your fish and chips, eat your lobster, eat, eat your, your dirty, dirty fries, fries, and just listen to some people singing and playing guitar for you. Right. Drink your milkshake. I got to say, I'm very excited for this milkshake. Yes, one. I'm surprised that it, it's like hot out here and it's still like, I must know. have been really cold. It hasn't uh, melted really very much at all. This is a super milkshake. These are so good. I, I can eat these all day long. I want to show you something. What? Look at the size of the shrimp. Holy cow. It's the size of your head. It's like a langostino lobster. <laughs> all right, let's try this chicken now. Oh, has like herbs and stuff in it. See how there's like green things on the inside? That adds like an extra pop of flavor to it. I gotta try that chicken. Yeah, and it's also like super tender. And like it's the same breading as you got on your lobster. So light and airy and nice and easy. It's not like overly greasy or anything like that. I also wanted to mention really quick that don't let the name of the restaurant fool you. If you don't like fish or seafood, there are other things here for you to eat. Yeah. I don't know what sauce I just dipped in. Oh really? That's the sriracha aioli. Okay. Really good. Try I'm gonna this, try, try, hold on, I have to try mango. this Southwest though. Okay, but also try this curry mango because it was surprisingly good. The Southwest tastes like ranch mixed with Taco Bell mild sauce. Oh, really? It's really good. Oh, I gotta try that. Holy cow. That sounds like something I want on a french fry. Try this. Ooh. Right? I like it. That's good. All right. All right, wait, curry mango? Yeah. It's an interesting flavor. I liked it. It was sweet, but not too, I don't know, I'm not usually a fan of curry, but I, I was kind of a fan of that. Buddy, are you just, just relaxing? Just chillaxing over here? What do you think, Jackson? Do you like the food so far? Yeah, thumbs up if you like your french fries. All right. So this, the curry mango is like, <laughs> Do you want me to dip your chicken in a sauce? Oh, he's trying to find his specific french fry that I gave him. 
curry mango is really good. It's like a sweet, creamy curry sauce. But it wasn't like overly curry, It wasn't overly curry. And it wasn't overly sweet. It's like the perfect flavor of... It's like a... I don't even know how to describe Wait, it. But sir, sir, I was getting ready to use that. It's so good. Right? What was this one again? That is the Dijonese. This chicken is so tender. That Dijonese is really good. Look, Jackson's dipping into it too. What do you think, bud? Do you like the Dijonese? Me too, buddy. This restaurant is so good. I'm really enjoying all of the food that I've had so far, but right? I'm also curious about these. What are these? That's a fish witch. It's just like a hand, a sandwich. Yeah, it's like a hand device to hold your fish in. <laughs> I like how it's it's non bread. It's, yeah. It's, um, Look at this kid with his giant fish, chicken. You gotta try some of this fish, buddy. You gotta try Gordon's fish. He's known for it. Mid meal uh, shake break. Oh, Jackson already had some, so I'm I'm excited to see what you think. He loved it. This is a Biscoff shake. This is great. It tastes just like <laughs> like a blended up Biscoff cookie. You, uh, you yeah, want? Yeah, I know. He said, "What do you say?" Please, yes. So I'm also curious to see, I want you to try the lobster. Okay. Because there are some other people here that don't love lobster. They're not huge seafood fans. And they tried the lobster and they said it was really good. So okay. I think that you're gonna like it as much as I do and as much as they do. And you say don't dip it in anything? I didn't dip it in anything. This okay. has got the true flavor. Okay, it mostly tastes like butter. Yeah, it's very buttery. Don't eat all of it. Oh, I'm just trying like to get it? a bite of it. <laughs> So because it is so buttery, it kind of has more of like a, I wouldn't say greasy, but like a buttery bite. Like it's like a, like a juicy bite than the chicken was. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of lobster. It does have a little bit of like an, a lobster aftertaste that I wouldn't like prefer, but it was very delicious. What are you guys eating right now? We were having some shrimp. So the shrimp meal comes with the two lobster tails and two huge shrimp. Jackson loved it. He asked for more. Did he? Yeah. So the shrimp and the lobster are a hit. Um, I want to try the fish in Gordon's tartar sauce. Okay. Yeah. So which one is that? I have the fish. I just wanted to give you a little look at the inside. Flaky white fish. All right. Let's try it with some of Gordon's tartar sauce. Get a little tartar sauce in there. Am I supposed to be eating it with my hands? Probably not, but I'm going to anyway. So the, the batter doesn't take away from the flavor of the fish, but the fish is still very mild. So it's a really nice way to try the sauces because you really get the full flavor of the sauce. Okay. That tartar sauce is really good. It's very dilly. Very dilly? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's got a really nice dill flavor. And I'm a big fan of that. So I want to try some. Yeah. Okay. On a piece of fish. Okay. All right. Let's give it a try. Tartar sauce is good. And yeah, the fish is very mild. It's not like fishy at all. So I thought that you would probably, you know, like not dislike it. I don't yeah. know if it's gonna make you a fan of fish. No, but I'm not a it. fan of fish, <laughs> but I will say this, and I know that I'm not a fan of fish, but my favorite thing so far has been the chicken. It's very easy to eat. It's so tender. Yeah. Okay. We got to try these fish Handwiches. Okay, a fish witch. A fish witch. Yeah, we gotta try these fish witches. It's time to try the fish witch. So there's fish, there's a little pico, a little guac, it looks like. Okay, so it is an avocado sauce. Oh, what's happening here? Is it like a flash mob? Right now, there's some kids dancing in the little, uh, the green area. So the pico is a little spicy. Honestly, it tastes really nice with the mildness of the fish and the the naan, the bread that it's in, kind of cuts the spice a little bit. So if you're not a fan of super spicy food, I think the um, the naan helps with that. I like this a lot. So the naan is very like pillowy. It's very soft and the crispy, uh, like, like the crispiness of the batter of the fish, it goes really well with the pillowy softness of the naan. This is really good. So of everything that I've had so far, I really think that the, the lobster is like the shining star. It was so, so good. I love the, the fried fish. The shrimp was delicious. 
The chicken was so tender, and these little fish, which is are, um, are super nice. I think everything is just been really good. I do want to try these dirty fries. I want to see what are these all about? Okay, so I want to get a little bit of everything. I got a fry, I got some chorizo, I got some of the peppers, and of course, um, the, uh, the cheese. These are nice, but they are a little bit um, hard to eat. So these are definitely not a, like a finger food. I think you would for sure need a fork with these. I like the jalapeno in there though. I, I do love a little kick, you know? Mm. And then of course we have our truffle fries. Let's see. They're all topped very nicely um, with the cheese and the truffle. So I feel like every fry, hmm, that's really good too. You know what though? I like the chorizo fries better. Hi buddy. Um, but I do like that you get a bit of flavor on every french fry because sometimes when you get truffle fries, only the top like five fries actually taste like truffle fries. Not here. Okay, I'm here and I'm gonna try these Parmesan truffle fries. So this is the dirty number two and this is Truffle, Parmesan cheese, chives, and parsley. Oh, that's good. Like quintessential truffle fries right there. Like, you know how when you have truffle and Parmesan together, it has a bite? And then the parsley brings it back up. Like it makes it a little bit lighter in your mouth. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to dip this in something. What do I want to dip it in? Ooh, I feel like the tartar sauce. Let's try. Oh, okay. When you're not eating the tartar sauce on anything, it has like a very, like a like a lemon punch to it at the end. Ooh. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, maybe I want to try it with the, with the curry mango too. See, when you're eating it on the fries, like these truffle fries in particular, it gives it more of a curry flavor. I like that like you can try it with different things and it changes the flavor of it. Let's try, I'm gonna like, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna try it with everything. I wanna try it with the sir, sriracha aioli. Ooh, that has a little bit more spice than, than when I tried it before. This is great. I like trying everything with these truffle fries. You know what? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so they have this Southwest Ranch, right? And they also have these Dirty number one, which is like chorizo. So they're like Southwest dirty fries. So I'm gonna take this Southwest ranch. And I'm gonna put it in this number one dirty fry. I think this might be the, the combination right here. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Like a party in my mouth. I gotta get Jen to try this. It was awesome. I'm gonna finish off my meal with this Biscoff shit which has done remarkably good for like being out in the heat, so cold. This is so great. It really is just like they blended up. This is a Biscoff cookie. It's like they blended up a Biscoff cookie and put it inside of a shake. I'm sure that's what they did, but they have another shake that's a sticky toffee pudding. We'll have to try that the next time we come, but this is real good. I have not tried the shake yet. And I gotta say, I don't really know what a Biscoff cookie is. Sorry, don't hate me. Is cookie butter made out of Biscoff cookies? Because it tastes like cookie butter. It's also very vanilla-y, so it almost tastes like vanilla cupcake batter. That's pretty nice. I don't know, I think I think that's, that's it for us from Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. I don't know how I could eat another bite. Oh, Jackson's getting very excited because the train's coming by. Choo choo. That was a very full train. Right? Yeah. Well, I didn't think there was gonna be so many people on that train. You know what? So not only is Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips here, but it is starting to get a little bit later in the night and it's starting to really fill out. There's a lot of stuff over here. Ooh, Star Flyer. I'm gonna put that video in the description down below when I rode that. A lot of fun. All kinds of different, like you got good luck charms and jewelry over here. 
We got a pretty lady and a cute little baby. This is one of the only places that's more expensive for kids to ride than adults. It's $6 for kids, $4 per adult. There's a lot of stuff going on here at Icon Park. Museum of Illusions is something we have to come back and do one day. Looks like it's fun from the pictures that I've seen. Oh, you can mine for gems over here too? Nice. Right here at the train station. Oh look, you can see the water coming down. These are all of the gems that you could get when mining for gems out here and also some seashells. So there definitely is a lot to do here at Icon Park. A lot of restaurants, a lot of attractions. Oh, this is neat. They have like an annual pass to eight attractions and then you get shopping and dining discounts too. So you can get on the wheel, you can get on the Star Flyer, go to Sea Life, Madame Tussauds, the Museum of Illusions in the game, which is like an, an arcade. is a 7D dark ride adventure and the Pearl Express, the Pearl Express is the train and the 7D dark ride adventure is inside of the wheelhouse here. All right, we are back home now. We wanted to say thank you to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips for having us out. We had a really fantastic time. We love going and checking out new restaurants and places. That's one of the great things about living in Orlando is that there's always something new going on. So if you are headed to Icon Park and you're looking for a nice place to eat, we do recommend Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.